Hi, I'm Bob Birch, Web Technology Specialist with North Dakota State University Agriculture and University Extension. And I want to show you a little bit about uh, sort of finding new things through a Google search uh, using uh, a tool that Google has called Wonder Wheel. So when you're typically doing a, a Google search uh, for something that's very general, you're confronted with a lot of search results. We're going to do a search here for wheat and just get an idea of uh, what we're talking about in terms of uh, search results for wheat. We're coming up with 52 million search results. But there's a way to narrow this down, especially if you're not really sure exactly what you're looking for, uh, or you're not sure of a search term that you might want to use um, to narrow things down. And the way to do that is to use the Google Wonder Wheel option. And you can access the Wonder Wheel option by clicking on Show Options right here on top of your search uh, results. And this is only available once you get your search results. So we've got our search results for wheat, and now we click Show Options and you'll see that this uh, toolbar opens up on the left hand side with a number of ways that we could further limit down our choices including by images video news blogs etc posted within uh, the past 24 hours or past week or past year but what we're gonna look for here is the wonder wheel and so here's wonder wheel under standard view and we're gonna go ahead and click on that and what happens is you get this nice graphic representation of the, your search term here in the center with related search terms surrounding it. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide the options again so we get a little bit of a bigger view here. So here's all of our search results for wheat. Here's our key term wheat with all of the related search terms that Google could come up with. These aren't always the perfect uh, related search terms. Um, they might vary a little bit, but what we're looking for here is discovering new content. So now if I look at these uh, re related search terms, I say, well, I want to look at growing wheat. You'll see what happens. Our wheel expands. It jumps back up over here. And now we get growing wheat as our search term with related search terms surrounding that. And over here on the right-hand side, our search results have changed uh, to reflect the search for growing wheat. So now if we look at these related search terms, now we might be able to limit it down even a little bit more. And you say, you know what, now that I think about, I think about it, I was only looking for winter wheat information. So I can click growing winter wheat. And again, same thing happens, your, your search term in the center here with related search terms uh, surrounding uh, that uh, particular search term. Now I'm going to click planting winter wheat here and you can see I can just keep going and keep going and as I do over on the right hand side here uh, my search results become fewer and fewer and more and more focused on what I'm actually looking for. So planting winter wheat, maybe we want to look at germination. Here's wheat, winter wheat germination. Now we're down to 168,000 search results. And we can probably get right to the term that we want. This is also useful if you're looking for uh, multiple aspects of a particular uh, general topic. Um, and you, but you don't have that way you don't have to build searches for each of those aspects. You can come in and use the Wonder Wheel to find them. And at any time, I can back out of this here. If I want to go back just to growing winter wheat, I just click there. If I just go back to growing wheat, now I've backed out of my Wonder Wheel, and I'm back to maybe more general search terms around here. I think it's a great tool. It's, it's fun. It's visual. And I think it can lead you to information you might not have found otherwise. It's the Google Wonder Wheel. Uh, thanks for uh, listening. I hope you enjoy it.